Namaste everyone. In this video, we are going to see the uh, assembly of all the parts of the stepping box. In the previous video, we saw the part modeling. And we have saved all these part files, uh, sorry, box in a single folder. And now, to, in today's class, we are going to take all these parts which are there in a single folder and we have to assemble them today. So, after assembling, the, the, the assembly is going to look somewhat like this. Actually, the half section is not in the process so of this. This is how our assembly is going to look like. And uh, this, this file that you are watching here now is a file created in one shape. Uh, the link to which you can also find here on your Google page. If you want this, we'll take you to this file. You can rotate and check it out from the directions. You can see what it looks like in the cross section view. You can also check out the different views, front view, top view, other views. We have also placed a uh, complete assembly drawing over here with the numbering of different parts. And that also will be able to do. So, anyways, we will not be using this. Um, we will have to create all these assemblies in SolidWorks. So, let's begin. First of all, you'll have to download all the files of the stuffing box. So for the students who have not completed all the parts, uh, I've already created all these parts and saved them on the Google Drive. Clicking on that link will take you straight to the Google Drive. And from here, we need to download all these files. So if you already signed in your account, you can appear like this, you can just download by clicking on here. Or else you'll get a direct download all button on the right side from where you can download it. After downloading, you have to save all these files at the same location. I have saved all these files over here. If I start in this slot, ready. So you can see it has all the part files along with some join files and assembly file, assembly file as well. So, so you should not use this assembly file. You have to create a new assembly file in a certain box. Let me just go ahead for the new file. And we have to click assembly. OK. So when it asks you to uh, ask you about the files, you should navigate to the place where you have extracted your files. So this is where I open it. So first object that you have to insert is the body. So click on the body, click open. So the file is going to appear like this. It will start floating here in the, in the main screen. So the thing is, you should not click here in the drawing area. This is very, very important. Because as an answer to this assembly, we will have to find the placement of center of gravity, which you will not get correctly unless you place the first object on it. So you should not click here in the drawing area. So click on this small green tick. So when I'm moving to this place, you can see that the object is snapping to a specific place. That is uh, done such a way that the origin of the part will match exactly with the origin of the assembly. So you just have to come here, click on the small green tick, and the body will be placed inside. So just to ensure, click on the origin, and you should find the origin to be located here. This point. Right. So let's go ahead and insert the other parts, go to assembly, insert components, and then you have to browse to the specific place where you have extracted all the files. Body is a part which I have already included. So from this, I will not include the assembly file because that will just insert another copy of the assembly over there. We just have to insert four other parts. Open. Now the other parts you can place wherever you want. There is no hard and fast rule for where they need to be placed. You can just go on clicking anywhere in the screen area that will provide us with this. So in case you are getting line like uh, joints like this, just click two times in this I icon that should be. Alternatively, you can just press Control plus B from your keyboard, which is a shortcut for rebuild. You can also rebuild by clicking on this sharp symbol like icon over here, and it will rebuild, making all your parts to appear correctly in the screen. After inserting all the parts like this, you should start creating mates. So click on the mate, and down here, click on the external cylindrical surface and the internal cylindrical surface, which will create a mate called concentric automatically out of this. So click on the green tick mark, then click and drag this part. 
So if it is not working properly, you just click on the close button, so remove it and click two times on the eye icon to bring back all the So this part you can see it's moving up and down, such so that it is concentrically. Similarly, you can go on applying the mates till your desired assembly is printed. That face has to be made with this face. Automatically coincident, it's been applied. Next, we need this cylinder to be concentrated with this. Click OK. Next, I click two times on the eye icon. This cylindrical surface has to go inside of this. Okay. In fact, of course, click two times on the eye to make it within one. And this low face is very contact with this. Coincident constraint is automatically. Now, when you see this part, it's rotating as well as moving up and down. So, this rotation we need to constrain it. So, that can be done using this step. step. Which is, let me take this inner cylindrical area, external cylindrical area, and they will, uh, they will become concentric. That will effectively stop the rotational motion of the gland. It's just towards moving up. Next, we need to take this nut, constrain it with this. So now you can see we want check two times on the arm. You can see that the chamfer is coming in the lower. lower side. We want the chamfer to come at the upper side. So since we have already created this constraint, we have to expand the mates option here. We go down here, click on this and click edit feature. That will bring back the edit feature option here which you got uh, while creating it in the first place. And uh, you can see that we have created concentric uh, mate between these two surfaces that we've selected. Mm -hmm. You should go down and change the mate alignment. With these two buttons, you can see they change the mate alignment. So we want the chamfer to come at the top, but we don't want it here. This is how it had created it earlier. So we need to click on this, the chamfer will come at the top. After doing this, again click on this small pin tick. Click two times again, I to bring it down. Now we need uh, to create another mate. So we have a mate. It's lower surface. Let's bring it down to this surface. And I click OK. Click two times in I to bring it back. Now you can see it's it's moving up and down. And also we need two extra copies of the nut and the stud. To create a copy, first press escape continuously for a few times. Then keep the control button pressed, keep the control button pressed, and click and drag this button. Automatically a copy of that will be created. Let's do that once again for the nut this time. Keep the control button pressed, click and drag on the nut. If it is not functioning properly, Press escape a few times and try it once again. The line commands are coming, of course. So just click two times on the eye. So next, we have to constrain this particular part. We can mate, cylindrical surface. If something like this happens, just cancel it. Two times on the eye. Start mate fresh. fresh. The cylinder. So can we go to this cylinder? Okay. Separately, take two times on the eye. This body surface. This surface. So we don't have to change the alignment in this particular case because it's already aligned properly. And this so now we have applied all the constraints and you can see that this is just going up and down so we just need to constrain this so how much up or down it should be 
much of a bond this should be. That depends on you know um, how much of the asbestos content is added in the finishing. So we'll just go ahead and take 20 meters, 20 mm, 20 mm is the distance between these two. So for that, you have to create another mate, set the bottom surface, the stud, and top surface of the body. By default, it will create a coincident mate. You just need to tramp down, change this mate to distance mate. Here, we can feel the distance mate. So we want to take up 20 mm of the distance. Click OK, and again, click OK. Click two times on the eye icon again. Now we can see there are no other possible movements except for rotation of the stone, rotation of the nuts. Okay, and that's that you just be left as it is. So now we just need to go for evaluate, and check out the mass box. That's so for rebuilding, just click on rebuild, click on rebuild, and provide you with the center of mass. So you can see here this should be a center of mass when you have assembled it correctly, getting it properly. We have to try it once with once again to actually get it. So, hope you have followed this video perfectly. You are able to assemble this properly. If you have got any doubts, you can let me know in the comments section below this video. If you have a noodle, of course, you don't have to click the video and open it on YouTube. And then you can answer to for the comment. Of course, on the Moodle, you can just uh, open a new discussion and ask any doubt that you have about this. I'll be able to take it up from there and uh, try to resolve whatever doubts I have. So that's it for now. See you in the next video.